It always uh, gives me great joy to be able to welcome you all to a concert. And tonight is no different from that, except uh, a year ago, were we outside and it was cold? Yeah. So what a joy to be inside. Uh, a couple of announcements. One, I understand we've run out of programs, which I'm sorry about, and yet also a little bit of a joy. That means there's a lot of you here enjoying this evening. If you would like a program after the fact, we are going to print some more, and just contact whoever it is you were here to see tonight and ask them for one. Uh, give us a little bit of time, you know, like into next week before you start looking for them. But I apologize for that. And if anyone wants to borrow mine, uh, when I finish, raise your hand. I'll let you use it. So a uh, reminder, if you have a program, uh, that it reminds you to please silence your cell phones. And I would ask that you uh, even darken them so that you're not shining bright lights uh, in your neighbor's faces if you're checking something. Just don't check it. It's great music, right? And then um, also please no flash photography. On the back program are upcoming events, one of which is Monday night. So pay attention to those. Uh, borrow someone so you can see what's going on. Hmm. I, I need three hands to do this because I wrote my notes here. Okay, uh, and then the other piece of information is uh, Dr. Warkentine has asked that we not applaud in between the pieces tonight. That we think of tonight as more of a hymn sing and less of a concert. So uh, consider that, and then um, let's enjoy that time. <clears throat> so um, then with that, then let me ask you all to pray. Let us pray uh, to start this evening. Pray with me. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill this space tonight as we fill it with music. Open our hearts to hear you, to experience you as we sing and play and listen. And as we share our hearts with you tonight, Lord, I pray you will be pleased by what you hear. We dedicate the songs we sing and the music we hear and create to you, God, creator of all things. And we thank you, Lord, for the gifts you have given to all those who take part tonight and for the hard work and time they have spent honing their skills. To you be all the glory. Amen. Thank you. 
perfect redemption, the purchase of blood. To every believer, the promise of God. To every offender who truly believes. In that moment, from Jesus a pardon receives.
Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are the people, the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. For the Lord is good and His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations.
the one who is and who was. For you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. Great and amazing are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. Lord, who will not fear and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your judgments have been revealed. is your unfailing love, O God. 
People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Continue your love to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart.
Since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. to him the living stone rejected by humans but chosen by God and precious to him you also like living stones are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ for in scripture it says see I lay a stone in Zion a chosen and precious cornerstone, and the one who trusts in him will never be put to shame. Now, to you who believe this stone is precious, 
But to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone that causes people to stumble and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy.
When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nation, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the desert Negev. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them.
and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hear my voice when I call, O Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, O Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God, my Savior.
His way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in Him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. He makes my feet like the feet of a steady deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You make your saving help my shield, and your right hand sustains me. Your help has made me great. You provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way. Heal me, for I have sinned 
against you. I do not seal up my lips, O Lord, as you know. 
I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and your saving help. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. Amen. Mm-hmm. 